Hi there. Today we are going to look at open educational resources. OERs are resources that are either in the public domain or they've been released so that people are allowed to repurpose them free of charge. In order for a resource to be considered an OER, it has to have the five R permissions. So you must be able to retain the resource, make it your own and control the copies. You can reuse it. You can revise it, so adapt or edit it. You can remix it, so combining the original or revised content with some type of other material. And you can redistribute. You have the right to share copies of the original content or your remixes and revisions with others. And again, it's free of charge. So the types of OER content you can find varies. You can find images, audio, books, actual courses, find activities, lessons, simulations, textbooks, online courses, and this is just a few. Why would you want to use OER in schools? Well, they're relevant and current. Um, if you think about buying textbooks, first they lose their value, and second, they're probably partially out of date. By using OER resources, you can keep things relevant and current, save money, tailor it to your personalized curriculum, differentiate it, and collaborate with others around the world to get the best materials in students' hands. In February 2016, Michigan Department of Education committed to becoming an, a Go Open state. So Michigan supports school districts and educators as they move to utilizing open licensed resources. So what are some challenges? We know some of the benefits, but some of the challenges isn't necessarily finding them because there are so many available. However, you need to evaluate the quality and determine their alignment with your curriculum and to make sure that they align with district policies. Here are just a few ways to get started with your OER search. You can do a Google advanced search. You're just going to go to Google and you're going to say Google advanced search. You do not have to fill all these in, but you're going to want to fill in the topic. So I'm going to go with kittens. They're usually pretty safe. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to usage rights. I want free to use, share, or modify. It is going to narrow down the, to only those that are free to use and revise and redistribute. The Google advanced search is really nice. You can really narrow down the filters. So for example, if you want it in a particular language or you want it from a particular region, you can also designate file types. So maybe you just want only PowerPoint presentations to come back. You can do that as well. But for OER purposes, we're looking at the usage rights. Another way to search for open educational resources is to go and do a Creative Commons search. So once I get to the Creative Commons search, I do the exact same thing. So I can come in here and I can say I would like to search for kittens, and then I can specify what type of content I'm looking for. Once I hit search, it now brings up all kinds of images, audio results. I can again filter it more. Searching for videos works the same way. So if I go to YouTube and I want to look for OER videos, I'm going to say kittens again, and then I'm going to click filters and you'll see down here under features, you'll have the Creative Commons license option. So then that's going to bring up those videos that have that particular license. So we went through the Google advanced search, the Creative Commons search and YouTube Creative Commons search. There are also OER repositories that you can look at. They have selections of resources from all over the place that they have gathered together. Of course, there are many repositories, so you're going to want to find the ones that you find most reputable and most useful for your needs. Here are just a few. Go Open Michigan has their own repository. PBS Learning, Curiki, and OER Commons are great ones to start with. So this is the Go Open Michigan repository. And you can come in here and you can search. You can do an advanced search, which I recommend. Tailor your results specific to your needs. So you can come in, choose your subject area, what types of material, grade level, all that kind of stuff. You could also search by standard, but I'm just going to keep it general for right now. So let's say I want to look at Native American dwellings. I can come in, I can view the resource. 
I can look at what standards it addresses. If I like it, I can save it. I can download it. And if you create your free account, you can have a library where all the different resources you want to save can be housed. So this is just one example of a repository that you can look through. So hopefully you can find some open educational resources that will help support your teaching and student learning. Thanks. Have a good one.